The Deputy Chief Constable of Sussex has described an increase in assaults on their staff during the pandemic as sickening. Figures show a rise of nearly 40% in attacks on officers, community support officers and other frontline workers since restrictions were put in place. Joe Shiner says there's no excuse for the behaviour. It's a sickening increase, quite frankly, and particularly in relation to some of the ways in which our front line are being assaulted. So they're being spat at, they're being bitten, they're being punched, and generally all of those things to people who are out there trying to help and protect the public. We can get more from our reporter Lucy Vladov, who's here now. And Lucy, this is quite a significant increase. Yes, yeah, so to put those figures in context, that's 169 assaults on officers in the past five weeks. And when we say assaulted, that's targeted around certain behaviours as well, such as spitting, biting, kicking, punching, even some who were coughing in the faces of officers and saying that they've got the virus. Now, I spoke to one officer who, has, who, was, arrest, who was arresting a man just this past week when he was attacked. Officers initially were spat at and... Uh, he had tried to headbutt them. Um, then officers, I was kicked in the groin. Uh, another officer was headbutted in the, uh, the van and spat at. Uh, and then there was a whole lot of racial abuse that, that, that took place throughout the incident. So it was, it was that sort of level of, of violence. Now, this is just one of many incidents, of course, but it's important to remember that the majority of the public do follow the rules. Police say that most people they speak to do comply when they ask them to move on and even empathise with their position. And in fact, there are now calls for tougher penalties on those people who are attacking frontline workers.